People will forget what you said. People will forget what you did. But people will never forget how you made them feel. Motivation and engagement are the two driving factors of how people experience their uh, life. The very experiences that they have built through involvement. We are going to demonstrate a few virtual reality and augmented reality applications that we have developed to improve involvement with immersive experiences. As the saying goes, teach me, I will learn, show me, I will remember, and involve me, I will know. I'd like to tell you three stories related to each of this. A group of frogs was traveling through the woods. Two of them fell into a deep pit. When the other frogs saw how deep it was, they told the two frogs that they should just give up, that there was no hope left for them. However, the two frogs decided to proceed and try to jump out of the pit. Despite their efforts, the crowd at the top of the pit continued saying that they should give up, that they would never make it out. Eventually, one of the frogs hit to their words and gave up. But the other frog continued to jump as high as he could and finally made it out. When he got out of the pit, the crowd realized that the frog was deaf, that he thought they were encouraging him the entire time. People's words will have big effect on other people's actions. Teach me, I will learn. Story number two. A researcher puts five monkeys in a cage. There's a bunch of bananas suspended with a string and with a ladder leading towards it. When the first monkey goes for the bananas, the researcher sprays all five monkeys with freezing water. Sometime later, the second monkey tries to go for the bananas. Once again, the researcher sprays all of them with the cold water. But when the third monkey tries to go for the bananas, the other four attack him to prevent him from climbing that ladder. They are afraid of getting sprayed. This time, the researcher replaces one of the monkeys with a new one who was never part of the original experiment and never was sprayed with the water. As soon as he touches the ladder, the other monkeys attack him to prevent. If he tries again, they attack him again. Thus, the new monkey learns not to go after the bananas or he will get attacked if he does. The researcher continues to replace monkeys one at a time until all five of the original monkeys are removed from the cage. Each time a new monkey goes for the bananas, the others attack him, although they had never been sprayed with the water. Thus, the new monkeys that have never been sprayed with the water learn not to go after the temptation of bananas. The researchers hypothesized that if they were to ask monkeys why they would not go after the bananas, they would say, that is how it's always been done. Show me, I will remember. Story number three. When life gives you an opportunity, take it. Only then will you know what you're capable of. I was invited to teach math and computer science classes in Nigeria. And uh, during my class preparations, I came across to Pygmalion theory. In a Greek play, Pygmalion, a sculptor, makes a statue of an ideal woman that he falls deeply in love with her and pleads to God so that decide to breathe life into her. Regarding the Pygmalion effect, there was an experiment where at the beginning of the school year, they introduced a random class as a gifted and talented to the teachers. At the end of the school year, the kids did better than other class because the teachers treated them as gifted, spent more time with them, solved more problems. So I, did, uh, I decided to test it myself. To one of my students who received slightly low grade, I gave extra points to see how he would react to it. He was so happy about the score, he ran around the campus, showed the high uh, score to everyone, boasted how cool he was. But his reaction, attitude towards the class, completely changed. He engaged more, involved in class activities, 
and started receiving aids, this time on his own. Involve me, I will know. Therefore, teach me, I will learn. Show me, I will remember. And involve me, I will know. Self-efficacy increases when people know that we are engaged with them. Motivation and confidence increases when people know that they are competent and can do things just like everyone else does. Involvement not only retains information and skills, it can also increase the confidence. Immersive learning allows us to be involved with the activities and information that we are receiving. Uh, therefore, teach me, I will learn, show me, I will remember, and involve me, I will know. We have been uh, developing a number of augmented reality projects. OSHA has internationalized nine pictograms that, as part of their global harmonized system, as a communication tool to workers, so they handle chemical materials safely and avoid injuries and illnesses. The companies globally adopted them, however, there is a problem. It is not feasible for companies to invest resources in their lower paid employees, such as janitorial staff. It is not feasible for them because the janitorial staff can switch jobs if there is a higher pay. We have developed augmented reality application that anyone can download and install in their phones, point their camera on the pictogram, and instantly see the animated explanation of what that pictogram means. We tested this uh, application in a number of non-English speaking countries with excellent results. Regardless of their background, the people were able to understand significantly better what that label means with the application. Regarding education tools, we also developed augmented reality application where students can point the camera at the two-dimensional blueprint of an orthogonal view of a part that projects three-dimensional completed part of that entire project, and they can scale, rotate, and interact with it. Involve me, I will know. So, COVID-19 caught us by surprise. Suddenly, we could not go back to our works. Suddenly, the students could not go back to their labs. It is crucial for students to go and engage with hands-on activities. So we decided to develop virtual reality application to help with the engagement. We replicated our robotic arm so the student can still do hands-on activities, although they are out of the campus, so that when they come back, they can still work smoothly in person. So the purpose of this project was to develop muscle memory. And uh, Lane Sol here was the leader of this project, and by the way, he is going to present the outcomes of this project in Canada next month. So uh, with this virtual reality, ladies and gentlemen, the students could significantly better understand and interact and complete number of operations when they are in person. Therefore, if they are exposed to virtual reality simulation, they can do better. Involve me, I will know. Regarding virtual reality, we were also interested to see other safety applications that we could uh, apply. With that, we scanned one of our campus buildings for virtual reality and invited a random group of people who had never been to building before. We asked them to look at exit signs, and we timed them, and then we invited them again in person to the building to go and find those exit signs. Surely, the outcome was the people who came in person did find those exit signs significantly faster because they were exposed to virtual reality. We then invited other independent group, randomly selected, who also had never been to the building. We asked them to find those exit signs, this time without virtual reality. Of course, we compared the first group and the second group. The first group, because they had been exposed to virtual reality, they found the exit signs significantly faster. Involve me, I will know. Providing immersive experiences and simulation maps can not only help us develop muscle memory, but can 
retain information and help others. If you scan parks, hospitals, buildings, large community gathering areas, you will be able to help others to find existence faster during a peril. So, because we are here to acquire knowledge and impart it to the people, I would like to leave you with, involve me, I will know. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.